smack them a gob. What's up, everybody? Waylon sent me a bunch of bands now to do a fantasy concert now. Here are the list of bands. Van Halen, Motley Crue, Scorpions, Aerosmith, and Pink Floyd. Now, in the real world, it would be Pink Floyd. Their stadium act, they would be headlining. But this ain't the real world. And I know, I've seen comments on these fantasy things saying, no way this band would open. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, this is my concert. Van Halen headlines this concert, all right? Van Halen was the greatest band I ever saw in my life back in the 80s. And then I would put Pink Floyd. After Pink Floyd, I put the Scorpions, where Aerosmith would be bigger, but I put the Scorpions. Then Aerosmith, then the opening act, Motley Crue. All right, here we go. Motley Crue opens the show with my favorite Motley Crue song, Live Wire. And they go right into Shout at the Devil after that. Then Louder Than Hell. Then Take Me to the Top. Then Red Hot. Then Piece of Your Action. Then Use It or Lose It, my favorite off Theater Pain. Uh, 10 Seconds to Love into Knock em Dead. Or is it Knock em Dead into 10 Seconds to Love? Whichever order it is on the album is the, one, the way I want it on here. Uh, knock em Dead Kid. Then Fight for Your Rights. I love that song. Many don't, but I do. See, when they play that, it's when you all go out to get, you know, uh, you know, you all go in the glory hole and I stay there and I rock. After that, bastards. Ooh, they don't let up. They're kicking ass here. Then, God bless the children of the beast. Yes, do that little instrumental. Into Helter Skelter, like the album. Then, Too Young to Fall in Love. Then Looks That Kill, boy, a bunch of Shadow of the Devil songs. Then the last song, because he tells me to pick 16 songs from each band. The last song is the last song off of uh, Shadow of the Devil. I feel is the greatest Vince Neil vocal performance, Danger. That's what ends the show. Then uh, comes Aerosmith. And by the way, all this has to do from 85 down up to 1985. I don't know if I said that yet. Um... Aerosmith opens up with no surprise. Ooh. Then right into My Fist, Your Face. Ouch. Then Lord of the Thighs. Killer. Then they slow it down to an awesome cover. I love Cry Me a River off Rock and Hard Place. I want to see them do that. Then Rats in the Cellar. Pick it up. Uh, and Keep It With Rocks was Sick as a Dog right after that. And then slow it down again to my favorite, all-time favorite Aerosmith song, Seasons of Wither. After Seasons of Wither, my second favorite Aerosmith song, No More, No More, off Toys in the Attic. Then Combination. I seen him play that once. That was awesome. Uh, then Nobody's Fault. Bam, bam. Another, another uh, double shot of rocks. And then to keep it heavy after Nobody's Fault, round and round. Ooh, off of uh, Toys in the Attic. Keep it heavy. Then, their masterpiece, Kings and Queens. Probably my third favorite Aerosmith song. Um, by the way, this killed me because I wanted to start it with Make It. Have you noticed a lack of the first album on here? I wanted to put Make It, but I had to scratch it out. After Kings and Queens, uh, Lightning Strikes. Love that song. Then, a deep track off of... Uh, Du uh, draw the Line, Sight for Sore Eyes. Damn, that song gets stuck in my head. I love that song. Uh, then, uh, Bone to Bone, Coney Island, Whitefish Boy. I wanted to put Cheesecake on here, too. I love Night and Ruts. Uh, and then end it with Walking the Dog off the first album. I couldn't resist the first album. I know there's Mama Ken, somebody, a bunch of songs I love. But these songs, I'd rather see them play it live. And that's the end of the Aerosmith set. Now the Scorpions come out. And the Scorpions open the set with Blackout. Then another piece of meat. Then take it back to the Uli years with Speedy's coming. And don't stop there. Go right into Top of the Bill. Then Picture Life. Keep it Uli. And then my favorite, well, my second favorite Scorpion song, Sales of Caron. Then in Trance, a lot of Uli stuff. And Uli comes out during all this. Then, oh, i got to put in the zoo. The zoo is such a, it's always played, but it's such a great live track. 
Then we'll burn the sky. Yeah, the whole thing. Then catch your train off Virgin Killers. What a ripping tune. Uh, Steam Rock Fever. A lot of Uli stuff. Because Uli's my favorite era. Then this, oddly enough, is my favorite Scorpion song. and It's, it's like a reggae song. And I hate reggae. Uh, is there anyone there? Got to put that on there. Then pick it up with Dynamite. A double shot of Blackout. Because after Dynamite, right into Arizona. Just like the album. Arizona is such a fun song, man. Love it. Then get it really heavy with China White. Then they leave the stage and come back. One more song. I have to put some from uh, Love for Sting, right? Because it's 1985, so Love for Sting is 84, right? Uh, coming Home ends the set. All right, now we go to Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd does a... They open up with the first song off their first album. Uh, from Piper's the Gates of Dawn, Ast Astronomy Domine. Then right into the Nile song from the Moore album. That song is so heavy. Then go into the instrumental One of These Days from Metal. Uh, and then uh, some Dark Side put on, on the run on there. After that, slow it down. We wish you were here. Love Wish You Were Here. What a great song. Right into my favorite song off Animals, Dogs. After Dogs, let's go back to the metal album and do Echoes, the whole damn thing. God, I love that song, Echoes. Then they come back with, uh, they leave the stage. They come back with some wall stuff. They do In the Flesh, which should have opened the show, but I figured, ah, let's keep it for later. Then right into Thin Ice, just like the album. Uh, then they, you know, skip a bunch of songs off the album. I love this album, but, you know, it's my favorite album of all time. Uh, I've got to put one of my, uh, if not my favorite song off the wall, uh, one of my turns. Into Hey You. A lot of, a lot of, uh, wall stuff. Then go back to Dark Sides with, uh, Brain Damage. Yeah, and then Eclipse after that. Uh, then go back to the to, to animals and do sheep. Last time I saw Roger Waters, he did sheep. It was awesome. Then they leave the stage and they come back to do two more songs, two more encores, and it's all, two more songs from the wall. Yeah, there's not enough Final Cut. And I like Final Cut. But all these songs, you know, I have to come back with Mother as the encore into the finale, Comfortably Numb. Right on. All right. Now comes my headliner, Van Halen. And they open up with what they opened up on the Fair Warning Tour in the most bombastic opening I've ever seen in my life. On Fire. My favorite Van Halen song. And then followed up with my second fan, favorite Van Halen song, Out of Love. Then after that, Mean Street. Ooh. After that, Romeo's Delight. Keeping it heavy and fast. Then the full bug. Again, another fast tune. Then another fast tune, Hot for Teacher. Yes, I never get sick of that song. Best song off 1984, if you ask me. And it's the greatest video ever made, in my opinion. Then, ooh, keeping it heavy, Atomic Punk. Oh, man, people are getting pummeled at this show because they're not done there. They're ready to best you up some more with Light Up the Sky after that. Oh, man, give me a breather. After that, a little bit of a breather. Take your whiskey home till it, it explodes. Love it. All right, now we mellow out a little bit. Secrets off Diver Down. Love that song. Then they come back and do Hear About It Later. Probably my favorite song off Fair Warning. Then I'll Wait. Awesome song. I don't mind the keyboards. It's an awesome tune. I'll, dig, I'll take it. Then, in a simple rhyme, off Women and Children First. And then they leave the stage, but they come back with three more songs. Unchained. Then, Bottoms Up. One more song left, and you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Hey, hey, hey! Ain't talking about love. So there you go, Waylon. That's my fantasy concert of 1985, 16 songs from each band, and it was quite a struggle, especially the Pink Floyd stuff, and Aerosmith, too. 
I wish I could have added more off the first album. But hey, what are you going to do? But Waylon, thank you so much, my brother. You rule, bro. And if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So, stay frosty, listen to Black Sabbath, and smack them a gob. Before we get canceled, check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with me and Wattzilla. We are the Podcast Kings. Link to the podcast is in the description below and also a link to the YouTube page. Check out all their episodes with visuals. And very soon, either Ian and I will learn how to go on YouTube live. Might be soon. So check out the greatest podcast ever according to science.com. It's also God's favorite podcast and Satan's favorite podcast as well. So check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast before we get canceled.